topic is glandular epithelium in epithelial tissue in tissue level of organization glandular epithelium some of the cuboidal or columnar cells get specialized for secretion and are called glandular epithelium so see this is a cuboidal cell a uh, tissue and this is a columnar tissue so they got specialized to secrete substance to secrete the substance such cells are called glandular epithelial tissue or glandular epithelium so there are two types of glandular epithelium unicellular consisting of isolated gland cells that is globed cells of alimentary canal which secretes the mu mucus multicellular consisting of cluster of cells that is salivary gland so the salivary glands have more cells so in that you can see the three type parotid submaxillary mandibular like that uh, glands are seen and it, and it is in a group that is in a cluster so in a group of cells which forms the salivary glands so unicellular means isolated cells which you have seen in the globed cells of alimentary canal which will secrete the mucus in the alimentary canal to prevent the hcl accumulation in the stomach lining layer and multicellular means cluster of cells that is group of cells seen in the that is group of cells example is salivary glands so because the salivary glands is the combination of three glands parotid gland submaxillary gland and mandibular gland okay so that glands so that is they are in group so that such glands are called multicellular glands which secretes the saliva so next one you can see the multicellular and glandular that is you can see here the multicellular glands so the multicellular glands which are larger also and here you can so in a single cell you have so many uh, nucleus so that is called as the multicellular it forms the multicellular nesting you can see no that is uh, so many shells are seen here okay and in unicellular only one cell okay that is unicellular glands okay so on the basis of the mode of pouring their secretion that is on the basis of the secretion the glands may be of two categories exocrine and endocrine glands exocrine gland means they have duct they have duct and they will secrete mucus saliva ear wax oil mat milk and digestive enzymes and other products so these are the substance which secreted by the exocrine gland and they have duct and endocrine gland they have they don't have duct so they are called as ductless gland and they secrete hormones that is hormones which directly that is directly into the fluid bathing the gland so with the secrete they, they secrete the hormone and uh, it directly enter into the bathing the gland that is the fluid which baths the gland in that fluid it will travels okay and you can see the classification here the glandular epithelium is classified as into endocrine and endo exocrine the endocrine means ductless glands which secretes the hormones and exocrine gland they have duct and they are classified into unicellular and multicellular this multicellular is again classified into based on structure it is of two types simple glands and compound glands based on the secretory units it is of three types tubular alveolar alveolar or acinous tubular alveolar based on the mode of secretion mirocrine holocrine and apocrine so this is the classification of glandular epithelium hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box if you want to watch the video in tamil i had given the link in the description box you can go and watch it give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel